Hello St John's community, uh, this is just a short update on uh, what's happening uh, with our services and uh, what we're planning over these next few weeks and months. Uh, over the last few weeks we've been talking about vision and uh, one of the things that Sammy outlined at the beginning of this month was that we have a vision for hybrid church, for church in person and church online and for church out there in the world where we meet in smaller groups. And we'll be talking a lot about those other bits and pieces in the next few weeks as we get to grips with what that looks like and how it plays out. But for now, I wanted to talk to you about uh, church in the building. So uh, we long for people to be able to connect in person. Uh, we also long for people to be safe and we long for people to be in- equipped to worship um, and therefore, as we've been praying and seeking God and asking him what to do, we feel called to experiment a little bit with what our services look like and how they're organised. So the plan is that we will be uh, trying out something over the next month. So from the 4th of October to the 1st of November, our service pattern will be changing slightly in order to allow as many people as possible to connect with our worship in some form or another. So what does it look like? Well, it looks like this. The 9am will continue to be a uh, spoken uh, Eucharist service, um, where uh, both online and in the building, uh, you will need to be booking up front. Uh, We hope to uh, include some music within that, but of course singing will still be restricted. We will then be uh, having another service in the afternoon, which gives us time to clean down the building and cleanse it, ready for that, which will be at 4pm in the afternoon. And that will be a service with children's ministries running simultaneously. The children's ministries will be primarily aimed at Key Stage 1 and Key Stage 2. And uh, the uh, children will be immediately dropped off before the service into their groups where they will form a bubble The children will not be able to go in or out of that bubble. They will have to remain in that group for the duration of the service. And adults simultaneously cannot go in and out of that bubble. They have to leave their children and go into the main service. That service is envisaged to be 45 minutes long, so a brief service, uh, but where they can engage, where the adults can worship and be taught, and where they can receive of uh, prayer and ministry in the power of the Holy Spirit. And then in the evening, we are hoping or we are running a a twice monthly 8 p.m. service. Presence previously was at 6.30. We pushed it back to 8 because we recognise that if you have preschool children and you're unable to contain them at a 4 p.m. service, that you will uh, want to partake of something. And uh, we've pushed it back to 8 p.m. so that uh, hopefully you'll be able to get tea time out of the way, the kids into bed, and then we'll be able to participate. And that 8pm service will be an opportunity to have extended sung worship, um, to listen to a talk and to have uh, ministry in the power of the Holy Spirit again. So all of these services will be online. Uh, They will be viewable uh, via YouTube or Facebook or on the church website. They will also all be attendable, so you'll be able to book spaces in them Um, And you will also have to book for the children's ministry if you wish to partake of that. There are 24 family slots at each service. So um, that restricts numbers just through space uh, and through social distancing. Uh, Everyone will have to wear a mask. They will have to uh, check in. They will have to have their temperature taken. But we are longing for as many people as possible to connect with church and with each other over this time. At the end of October, we'll be reviewing how these arrangements are working and and seeing whether we wish to continue them or wish we need to make alternative arrangements. So please do let us know if these are a success or not. Um, As I said, we're trying this. It's It's not a permanent thing. It's more that we feel that we have to do something. Lastly, I should say that these things will always be subject to whatever the uh, local lockdown regime looks like. So if we elevate to, to a pure lockdown, then we will have to review again what this looks like. 
hopefully that is all clear enough. Um, there should be more information coming out in the next few days. Um, this should be included in the weekly email as well. And hopefully we will see many of you gracing our church doors in the next few weeks. Thank you.